Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Scorpio. Okay, so we are back to, okay, so you were working on the money thing, working on the dividing thing. Um, now is a really good time when you can start making intentions to get rid of debt and start building savings. This is actually a really good time for that. This one, when you have this planetary one, what it really is about is... Um, getting rid of debts, getting rid of anything that's holding us back, um, hindering our growth, uh, uh, keeping us from being where we want to be, but it takes us having to face something and make a change to something um, so that we can bring this other thing in. So it's very debt related. But then there's also this other very optimistic side of it, of what happens when we do deal with what we have to. So this is one where, where you can, there's things like facing things and then growing even closer in partnership. Um, facing things and then saving even more money. Facing things and feeling more free and liberated about who we are. Because uh, it's very psychological in nature. So with this one too, and with Gemini, uh, meaning that there's going to be thought process kind of thing going on with this. So you could be awakening to some thought process around money. And I, and I think we talked about this last time, but that was the full moon. Excuse me, and this is the new moon, so moving into the positive, fresh start of it all so it could be you definitely with an affirmation will do that with money um, being able to manifest it and not keep it at bay um, so that's going to be a big thing with you and then let me see what's going on okay cool um, so we have a lot of aspects that's why I hold on a minute they take me a minute to see because there's so many of them with this with this placement with this horoscope I mean Okay, so something, and this is really cool too, because um, something that is being communicated, um, it can relate to a kind of really important message that you do have to get out. There's something with your words having a lot of power right now, and it can also tie into health, um, and it can also tie into something... So shifting something is going to have a really big effect, getting these words out, sh sharing this thing in just the right way too, because it can be something of needing to word it in just the right way, but it can have this whole um, transformational, um, uh, liberating kind of effect um, that actually opens your mind, <laughs> that kind of raises your vibration, that kind of... Um, uh, take things to another level where they have felt a little blocked and you couldn't have movement in a certain area. So they can really shift everything and, and make it like, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm trying to think of an analogy to show this where it's something that just this thing that has to happen and then it changes everything and actually kind of makes you feel so much more positive about life. So the one thing about this one though, how it is put together in its lineup is that um, there's peace to be had, but it's something that um, it might take you discovering this through meditation and alone time. So it could be something that like you can only really glean the piece of wisdom and what is really going on in this situation if you pull back, meditate, you know, do that kind of channeled writing where you ask a question and let the answer come. Because it's something that seems elusive to you, like you can't really get it, but it's because you can't get it from someone else or you can't get it... Um, you can't get it from really looking at the situation. There's not a book on it. There's nothing on this to help you with this. It's something that is, re is required that you go within. And, you know, it's funny too because the only other way it can come, it can come through you, through meditation, through your guides speaking to you, but also through something that's maybe like talking to a psychic related. Like they could be the ones who could maybe pick up on what this thing is because whatever this thing is is it's like the information for it isn't really out there and obvious and you're going to just open to a book and it's there um, 
which that could work sometimes, but it's not. It's just kind of something that takes going to a silent mind, asking for guidance, and not thinking at all about what is needing you want this guidance. You know, not trying to figure it out on your own, but working with spirit to kind of bring this piece of wisdom to you and to your awareness. So be aware of that. Um, there's also um, your business is going to continue. Whatever you're working on creatively is going to continue to grow and expand and go far off places. And that's what's going to happen with the, um, there's a really serious factor to what you're pulling through or what you're creating, whether this is an artistic thing, um, a craft thing, uh, a teaching thing, um, uh, anything that brings like joy or happiness to others. Um, whatever you're doing with this, you're going to be much more uh, serious about it. And because of that, and because Neptune now is going retrograde, um, it's going to be something that is going to be a big part of your life for a while. But how it's kind of lined up now is it's kind of really ready to uh, shoot out there and do something like publishing, internet, spreading a message far and wide. So it's something that is ready to kind of, you know, get out there and share with the world. And then it'll be something where like everyone's like, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. So whatever you are working on, they're for sure all going to want right now. Um, so that's good news, huh? And then what's really cool too, you know, with Jupiter, because Jupiter is going to be going into cancer on the 26th um, and that's going to be when and Mercury is going to be going retrograde on that same day but that's going to be moving into that house of really bringing you opportunities to move um, to get your stuff out there in the biggest way possible you know to have like opportunities coming left and right where everybody wants to promote you or share you or get you out there so there's a lot of that there's a lot of there will be lots of messages of like traveling of like you know moving to another country um, being around people from other walks of life so that's going to be something that you're entering into and that'll be like with your that, the creative things that you're working on right now so that's really cool so um, you're going to come up with a lot of new awesome ideas too especially when Neptune's retrograde he actually went she she went retrograde <laughs> um, a couple days ago and I kind of forgot to talk about that it's one that feels so at home with me because it's a Pi I'm a Pisces. But um, it's just really going to have us um, connecting. And then, too, when Jupiter goes into Cancer, I mean, it's just going to have us more connecting to our spiritual natures, wanting to be more compassionate with people, wanting to hear them out more, wanting to have understand peace with others. Uh, for you and where it's at, it's going to be bringing through more spiritually inspired, creative, artistic ideas, um, having a baby, um, 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 doing anything teaching related and doing it in just a way that's so like poetic and creative so they like really get you, you know? So that could be another thing that's coming. So um, did we do, let's do new moon affirmations and then we'll call it a day. So I am growing closer in my partnership. I am doing, I am dedicating every day to a, a, an amount of time to meditation and getting silent. I am, I know to get silent to bring in the answers. Um, I am working on healing any communication things I've been saying that are keeping money away. I'm changing my words to abundant words so I am able to magnetize all the money I need. You know, 8th house and Scorpio are really about the word need. So, um, and needs being met. So you can say all of my needs are met. Like how great does it feel to say something like that? All my needs are met. My needs are always met. So use that one as an affirmation. Um, this one will be anything you need to communicate in a better way to bring about peace and understanding. So, 
um, if there's any areas where you're not having that with somebody, especially someone that you're really close to, because this is like someone that you're really close to that this could be happening with. And just saying like, I'm learning to hear them in a way that honors them and really hears what they're saying. And I'm learning to communicate in a way so that they get it and don't take offense. And so that we just have good times over this, you know, because this is the debt to like the reward. So there's this thing in debt right now and you just need to work it in a certain way so that it can become an asset and a reward in your life. Okay, so you have a beautiful new moon and I will see you for the full moon on June 23rd.